This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to talk about double entry bookkeeping, and I'm going to try and keep it as simple as possible. Okay, so with double entry bookkeeping, every time we post a transaction to our ledgers or our accounts, we're looking to post two transactions, a debit transaction and a credit transaction, hence the name double entry bookkeeping and hopefully this will make sense as this video goes on. So in order to post transactions into our accounts we have to create what we call T accounts or ledgers. So you'd have a ledger or a T account that would be suitable for any transaction that you're going to process in your business. So we have a bank account ledger, perhaps a capital account ledger, for sure I'll just do a slash c. We could have a purchase account, a sales account, And you're likely to have numerous accounts, um, more than the four that I've created here. The reason why these accounts are sometimes referred to as T accounts is basically because with the debit and credit columns of the ledger, you create like a T, and I'll show you. Okay, there we have it, like a T, capital T. Now I'm just going to put these borders in every account, please just bear with me. Okay, there we go. So here are 40 accounts and I'll show you how the debit and credit, the double entry bookkeeping system works. So with each ledger or T account you have a debit and a credit, like so. The debit's always on the left side and the credit is always on the right side. Now a big misconception with debits and credits is some people tend to think that debit is always an increase in the account and the credit is a decrease in the account, but that's a total misconception. And that will make more sense as this video goes on. Okay, so first of all, our bank account. Um, I talked about debit being an increase, a credit, a decrease. With the bank account, that is true. Okay, so our plus is on the left, our minus is on the right. So credit is minus, debit is plus. Okay, so if we were to put money into the business, so this business has just started, and I was to put a thousand pound capital into the business, okay? And that went into the bank account. So we're gonna increase the bank account by 1,000 pounds. Okay, we increase our bank account by a thousand. So we put a debit entry in, we now have to put a credit entry in. So the credit will be capital, a thousand pounds. That is our, our entry using the double entry bookkeeping system. Is we have our credit entry and our debit entry, a thousand pounds into the bank. Our credit entry would be a thousand pound credit capital. Okay, so say we were to put an extra £500 in, credit 500 it's going to be a positive, a debit in the bank, so 500 into the bank, credit capital 500 Okay, so say we made a sale, so we made £200 of sales that went into the bank account. So once again, that's £200 into the bank, it's a plus, money is going into the bank by 200 That's a debit, so our other transaction has to be a credit, okay? The transaction always has to be a debit and a credit, so we'll be credit in sales, 200 So we're then to make the other sale of 50 plus the bank by 50 which is a debit, credit sales, 50 Okay. Um, so say our business has been running a week or so, we make uh, a purchase. 
Okay, so it's quite a large purchase of £350. Now this time it's money out of the bank, so it's going to be this minus sign, which is the credit. So 350 out of the bank, that's our credit entry. So our debit entry will be on the debit side of purchases. 350, like so. And then say we took some capital back, um, say we took some money out of the business. So once again, that's money out of the, the bank account. Let's say we took £100 out. That's a credit entry, so the debit entry will be £100 in capital. Now I've kept this as simple as possible. Um, the T accounts are slightly more complicated than this. You wouldn't just put £100 in, you'd put the date in. And also you would have a lot of accounts. For example, you wouldn't just have a sales account, you'd also have a sales returns. So if people return sales, and a purchase return. And obviously the entries will be opposite to their purchase and sales. So the purchase return will be a credit because the bank will be a debit, credit, purchase returns, and sales returns would be a debit entry as we'll be crediting the bank. There are two ways we can remember the debit and credit entries more easily. First is to remember that with the bank account debit is plus, credit is minus and a lot of transactions go through the bank account especially for smaller businesses um, even if, if this wasn't bank account it could be petty cash it would still be the same debit would be increase credit would be decrease so if you always remember that you should be able to remember where the opposite debit or credit is posted on which side the of the ledger it's posted I love a simple way to remember where to post debit and credit entries is by using pearls and what pearls is that's p e a r l s okay so pearls if we were to put a line straight down the middle there so p e a then r l s like so this side is our debit this side is our credit P for purchases E for expenses A for assets and our credit credits are R for revenue L for liabilities and S for sales okay so if we look at this purchases debit here we go purchase debit expense if we were to have an expense account it would be the same on the debit side assets if we were to purchase an asset you know the money would come out of the bank and there would be a debit entry for our asset revenue and sales we have our sales account here credits just as it says in pearls just as stated in pearls and then l for liability so our capital account is a liability and we post on the credit side of capital. Now I've tried to squeeze a lot of double entry education into a very short video and I've tried to make it as simple as possible. Um, so if it has gone over your head I do apologize but please drop me a comment or go on our website and get in contact with me and I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching.